Hey guys and welcome back to another episode with your boy Ams and my guy Spriggsy. Today we're going to be talking about the much anticipated fixture coming up between Chelsea and Man City. Yeah. What are your thoughts then? Well, less in terms of what they're playing for. So you've got Chelsea who still need to confirm that top four. Yeah. And I feel City 100%. need to prove that they're going to be a force next year. Plus, they don't want to lose too many years. They don't want to be off form when they play you because if you win the title, well, against yeah, the next them and game. take that off them, yeah. that'll be. I think that if they'll say that's not important, but I think that is going to come into terms. They wouldn't want it to be out of their hands, even though it already is. Yeah. Because we just need two wins, regardless of whether we say we beat Palace and then we lose to City, then we just need to win one more game, regardless anyway. But um, I think we'll yeah, hurt, a bit more, hurt a bit more. They wouldn't want. They will not want to lose at home have to give us a guard of honour <laughs> like that's something they won't want but like you said Chelsea currently the position they're in they have a lot more to fight for City they just don't want to lose at home to us these Chelsea are two, need to fight yeah, for top four still these are two teams that with the break they've, they've both looked like they've not really had a break I think personally when I watched them so my, um, Chelsea controlled the ball when I watched them the other day like perfectly yeah they were just all over up that one goal and Man City have just been smashing in goals so it's not really like it's changed so these two teams look like they're going to go head to head especially with it being at Stamford Bridge I don't think it's going to be as much of a whitewash as it could have been because I mean I know in previous results City blew Chelsea away 6-0 yeah the, the game <laughs> yeah, they won before the one that happened they won 6-0 didn't they yeah exactly so that could always happen, but being at the bridge and, again, like Chelsea, they have a lot going for themselves. They know what players are coming in. Like, they, they've they got something that is building towards getting them back up into the title picture. Because they have a little faith in Lampard. I'm oh, sorry, not a little faith, but they have a, a lot of faith in Lampard. Yeah. 100%. But Man City, the thing with Man City is you could be Liverpool or you could be Plymouth Argyle, like, if they drum two goals past you early, you're gonna you just panic. It doesn't yeah. matter because you know they're capable of you, yeah. absolutely turning you apart. They just have a squad depth that other other teams don't have. Or pretty much no one has, to be honest. Like yeah. their second team could probably get in the Champions League. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they got a midfield three where they'd have what like Rodri, De Bruyne, David Silva. Oh, if they don't want one of them, they could put in Phil Foden. Don't want one of them. Don't want him. They could put in Fernandinho. Don't yeah, want him. Like they could you put said, good with again. Phil Foden, that like they're, they're players they can bring on. Just like, it's absolutely, class. they're just it's quite equal to equal, really. Like it's insane. As Chelsea, they don't have that the depth like that. They still have decent players, to be fair. Yeah. And with the striker situation, obviously at the minute they just bought Werner. Exactly. So, so a lot of players to find. I think people know, like they say, they're fine place, but they know what happens with this. They know Werner comes straight in. I think so. That's yeah. that could be like a an effect that we see now. <coughs> well, I mean, it's but hard then to like say. like Giroud are playing for another club basically. So like they're playing to get a good move. So that's yeah, exactly. why then it could turn around. And they try and play well. That's it, why I think it's going to be a very ex- interesting game. One hundred percent. I do. <sighs> Touch wood, it doesn't end up as a nil-nil, because I do see goals in this game. Um, the fact that, it, it, like I said earlier, the fact that it's at Stamford Bridge is going to make it more excitable rather than it being a C, even though there are no fans there. Yeah. Like, I don't know, there's just... With the games I've been watching in the Prem, specifically, even though there's no fans there, you, there's, you feel there's a certain bit of an edge to each team when they're playing at home. Yeah, and I don't know. It's the tough one. Like, I don't think there's a home advantage at the minute. I think the the teams that have been winning at home are, are just better teams. As this one's quite yeah. a good test, I think, as of actual ability wise. True, like, true. This would be a good one for City because Arsenal were, uh, they're just they're falling apart at the minute. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, shambles, shambles. So there. I don't think that was really. I think everyone knew that that was going to be. A, I don't think they knew it was going to be that dominant, but. It was. Um, Burnley, I thought of knew one. I didn't think it was going to be 5 0, but I knew it was going to be that way. Yeah, exactly. But Chelsea still look, they look quite strong still. I know they've surprised everyone this year, so. They're just, that one goal they conceded, even though they were the better team. I think that's how they've got this calibre of players as well, because 
Lampard was expected to come in and be out of the top four. And he's done, yeah, so it's definitely job. really exciting. But like, but this is the thing with Chelsea, though. I know from like a lot, a lot of my boys who support Chelsea, like they know the club better than I would, and they tell me that they know it's not Lampard making decisions. Like it's the board. The board are bringing in the transfers. Lampard's just coaching them. Of course, so, but that's what most clubs like at that level. Any rarity of managers, like yeah, will, the club and so on. Yeah, yeah. yeah like even true. Poch came out and said for Spurs that he didn't. He only coached the team. Yeah, by, exactly. By the players. Well, obviously, previous result this season was 2-1 to City at the Etihad. What are your thoughts on the final score for this one? Uh, I think we 2-0 City. 2-0 I think City. Chelsea will get a goal. Okay. Um, for me, I do feel like Chelsea might get something out of the game, but I think, yeah, City are just going to be a little bit too strong. I feel like a 2-1. Yeah, I think it, it'd, be, it'd be around that. I just don't think Chelsea will just get a goal, I think. It's, I have a weird feeling about that one. Yeah, goal scorers. I think goal scoring as they struck. So it goes back to that. Goal scoring. They struggled. That struggled to get a goal against Villa. To be honest. Yeah. We've got two in quick succession. So it's more open, isn't it? When it's a big team, so you're yeah. more open. Like anything more. can happen, so it's good. Scorers. I think I'm gonna go with De Bruyne, and I'm gonna go with Sterling. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for me. Yeah, I'm feeling KDB is gonna get on the score sheet. And I feel Riyad Mahrez. I have a feeling Riyad Mahrez is going to sneak in there because Sterling and that might not be there and about. And for Chelsea, I don't, I feel like it's going to be like even though I've told if it's going to be like Giroud or something. It'll, like that. They'll, nick, they'll nick one. So I feel like maybe a Kovacic from a corner or something like that. But anyway, let us know what you think about the scores um, and your predictions of the game. Obviously, I can't wait for this game. To be fair. Yeah, it's one of, especially on Thursday night, so yeah. <laughs> it's one to look forward to. But yeah, that's another episode of Sanctuary Sport, and I'll see you soon. Yeah, football is life.